Is this just a big pile of e-waste? <sighs> well, let's dig into this. So here in the United States, you can grab a brand new Dell Optipex Micro from Dell Street for $650 with a generation of i5-13. Uh, we can have 16 gigs of RAM and a 250 SSD with a three year on site warranty. If it's on sale, $650. If it's not, $700, $750, something like that. So these computers are four, five, six years old. The client dropped off some of these. He was wondering if it makes any sense to do any kind of work. They are slow as anything. It's a medical client, it's a business environment. It doesn't make sense to have an employee to work on a sluggish computer because the productivity goes down and it really makes sense for them to have a computer which is reliable and it's up and running and you don't have to do anything with a PC for, for like four or five years. It's just on and on 24 seven. So these already came out of production. Unfortunately, they have an i3 four core CPU in them, gen eight. They have four gigs of RAM, maybe eight gigs of RAM. Maybe they got upgraded uh, at one point already, but they have a 500 gig regular hard drive. They are slow as anything. Just to turn on the computer, reboot the computer, a sluggish, uh, and it's just painfully slow. So I looked them up. If you go to eBay, you can get the same i3 micro with 8 or 16 gigs of RAM with a solid state already installed and the Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro already clean installed factory reset for 80, 90 or to hundred dollars with free shipping. It, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever for me to buy a solid state, to buy 8 or 16 gigs of RAM and spend an hour which costs at least $100 or even more just to labor to reinstall everything from scratch, do the firmware update and drop it back off to the client side. It doesn't make any sense to spend $200, $250 per computer to fix these up. So I was talking to somebody from the outside of the United States and I said like, I, yes, I sadly, there's, there's nothing, even as an individual, for me, it doesn't make any sense to buy $30 for a solid state, buy $30 to put more RAM in it, and, a, and an hour of free work from my time to refurbish and then sell it for like $90 on eBay. By the time is everything is set and done, I, I made no money. With the shipping and everything included, I'm losing money. Technically, this is e-waste. I can't do anything with them. So he said, that's a shame because he could probably use it as, as, as a box to just deploy Linux, to try something different, maybe install Chrome on it, or just use it as like a, like a file server or a little station for a kid to play games or an elderly person to use it as a desktop. And it makes sense. It it's makes sense. But here in the United States, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So that's why we ended up actually doing it. I'm going to refurbish as much computer as possible. I got some i5 processors. We can swap the i3 out. I can buy some used but still functional decent solid states. We can put them in. I have some leftover RAM from old computers coming out of business production. We can reuse that. We're going to destroy the original hard drive coming out of this PC. And if you have any any thoughts, uh, any suggestion, what should we do with these computers? We, we gave three laptops away, brand new laptops away on this channel. Uh, some of them were international and it's really hard with the shipping and custom fees and everything to ship something out. The lithium item uh, battery didn't make it uh, any easier. So maybe this is an option where we can send out, we can refurbish, we can do a live show. I can show you what my process is to refurbishing these computers. If you are into this and you think this makes sense, please let me know in the comment section and we can just give these computers away or we can donate uh, to some organization who can handle it out to people in need. If, if you think that's worth uh, your, your time and like, I would really, really appreciate it. I'm getting close to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, that will help me out. So please let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Scouts out.